mix up some colors right now. Just gonna have a little bit of a painting party. That's what we're gonna do. I uh, kind of messed up my painting last night. I'm gonna tell you the I'm gonna tell you the truth. I messed up my painting last night. I had this huge kind of amazing uh, crash. Well, I swiped my arm trying to take a video and guess what happened I wiped the bottom of I have a armful last night of my painting so what I decided midnight is I was gonna make it a fall a little bit of a pond and then another fall here so in order to do that where I kind of wiped most of the paint off unfortunately I scraped and kind of cleaned up and now I'm gonna mix up some color and thank you guys for the uh, likes i really appreciate that i see some hearts coming in that's great i see some new people here that's also great i like having new people and old people old friends i will you know on tiktok i have a lot of friends the old internet man Whew. i had a little more brown to this the old internet made making friends really easy <laughs> truthfully I grew up before the internet I didn't I didn't have the internet what I had was a bunch of neighborhood kids on bikes and by golly when the lights went out you better go home <laughs> that's what I had anyway we're just gonna cover up our happy little accident here we're gonna make some rocks right up front so again, you have this lovely, lovely sunset of this lake coming down. It's being divided by a rock here and a rock here and a little bit of fern stuff and a little splash. And where I made my accident, we're going to make it a like a little pond here and then rush. So it goes from a big old rushing lake stream thing to a nice quiet brook, right? Down, down this way, past this painting. That's a nice, quiet little book, brook. So, anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for joining and following along and hitting the like button. What I'm gonna do is a little roll of paint again with some dark color I mixed up, and we're gonna put a rock right here. Phew. Yep. If we ever make a mistake, we just blend it out. That's okay. We can fix it. That's the old also said what happy little accidents whatever all right we can deal with that later flattening out a row scraping up and we're gonna use our knife and just kind of make a weird little oompa rock it's got a little oompa to it like that by the way you gotta make sound effects you don't make sound effects you can't paint I'm telling you. Alright, now I decided we need another rock right there to come in the foreground. And, and thank you guys for being here. Hey, thank you for the likes and any followers. By the way, I'm Mick. Hi, nice to meet y'all. Uh, I'm the guy that's painting this right now. So, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. All right, we're just gonna add some dark color into this a little bit. Oh yeah, we need to do the same here. We just gonna add and smush my knife, make some dark color. There we go. I kind of cut down some of that splash over here. Why? We're doing pretty well. Kind of like this. All right, let's uh, refine this rock a little bit. Bring that rock all the way to the edge of the canvas. Hey, what's up, peeps? How you doing? Hey, thank you, thank you for following. I really appreciate that. And thank you guys. You keep hitting the heart button, the like button. Ooh, I love it. You know. I'm not going to be one of those people that enjoys tips, but I do love hearts, and I love follows. 
that's what I like. So that way you guys can see me and get to know me as an artist and when I paint, you can come see me again, you know? Yeah. All right, I think we got everything I want. Gotta make this big old bad belly. There we go. Yeah, I think I got what I want. We're gonna make some more splashes down here, but we gotta highlight the rocks first. So give me just a second. I need to change palette knives. I'll come over here and grab some magic white and put it on my palette. Notice I basically I'm using black, blue, reds, uh, green, and yellow on this painting. Um, but yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Again, I, I don't get to read all the comments right away, but uh, I appreciate everyone being here. I should probably pay attention more to the comments, but you know, I just like doing me and painting, so. What we're gonna do is some of this leftover paint, pull over here, scrape it up, and we'll put it right next to some magic white, okay? Now, a th thick paint. You can't put thick on thick. You can't put thin on thin, right? You have to go thick to thin. Well, by adding just a little bit of a white medium um, and your base color, right? It becomes thinner and you can add it. So let's, uh, let's get crazy here and go even lighter and make a shadow color. Oh no, that's not enough. Let's just, we'll just take over this right here. There we go. That's a good shadow color. So we'll come over here on this rock and just touch it, pull with a knife and make little characters and little curves, whatever. It's this mighty old rock right there. Wipe your knife off. I do it on my palette. I'm gonna come in with some of more color here and we'll touch the top of this rock. It's gotta be wet. That's where the little mini waterfall's happening. Right? Light sh shining in. The sun sets back here. Lights just like this. 3D. It's coming right that way. So we gotta have this rock a little shiny. Right? Alright. Clean my knife. Do the same thing. With this one, we're just gonna get a little funky. We pull some weird shape out of it. Because it's a it's a rock that's been beaten up a lot by this uh, this here waterfall. So let's oh, there we go. That's a good rock. Pull something down. Now we've got one more rock. Do a little highlight on. This guy over here, let's make him round and bulbous. There we go. Look at that. Hey, guys, thank you for the likes up there. I really appreciate it. A little tap for you means a whole lot for me. I will tell you that much. It really does. All right. So, let's kind of come in here a little bit, just decide where this water actually falls. I'm just going to... Scrape in a little dark color with my knife. I had that color that we used the rock on earlier. It's going to help me quite a bit. All right. Good, 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 good. We are coming along. And let's rock it. So I am now going to grab, oh, a fan brush. Let's, let's uh, kind of perfect these waterfalls, shall we? For now, I'm going to put the palette down. <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. For now, I'm going to put the palette down and mix up some magic white. We need to work on these little, little waterfalls right here. So, I'm going to grab this guy, pull him right down. And this guy up against that rock. There we go. And then we'll make a little, I have a little too much paint on there. 
little splash. But that's okay, we can just make some movements. Water movements, you know, pull that water right around this old rock. That's why it's, it's getting beaten up and all oh, the water is just wearing that old guy down. If you take a fan brush and pull up, things look wet, by the way. I don't I don't know why it is, but Okay. And thank you for being here guys. And it's, again, sorry. Sorry I don't read everything here. Um But yeah, I'm just enjoying myself and just painting for me, so you guys are along for the ride. Alright, let's make a little crash right there. Yep. Pull that fan brush down a little bit. <laughs> I just keep making sound effects, don't I? Sound like a... Sorry about that. That was my reminder to paint. But yeah, it sounded like a 1980s like video game every time I'm like... <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm trying to make sure this water line is fairly even and straight across. Okay, we'll come over here. There we go. Kind of making this one curve that way. Give it a little oompa, some splash. A little bit of rush down here. Splash off into the edge. <laughs> hey guys, thank you. I know there's not a lot of you here, but for those that are here, I appreciate y'all watching this and me just <sighs> fixing a painting. <laughs> Again, I accidentally the other night I had a big foam and I didn't, all these rocks were gone. It, it was a cool, but I. <laughs> swiped it and made a mistake and so now I have to fix it. So this is that way I decided to fix it by making a little mini, you know, you have a big waterfall and then you have a small waterfall. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm going at here. And also I appreciate you guys listening to me blab as I just paint and enjoy life at the moment. You know? Let me... Ooh, I want to change brushes, but right after this one, I want to make a couple of... I have a better brush. Let's go to the good old <clears throat> one inch round. Let's make some splashes. So let's really oompa this painting. Give it rawr. Give it some growl. I mean, you have water coming down here very fast, very heavy, and then you get a little bit of break, and then it's pouring down. It's got to have some oompa too. It's got to have some power behind it. We're just just gotta have fun with the paint. That's what I'm doing. Pew, pew, pew. We're taking a happy little accident and just making it fun. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm having too much fun. But honestly, folks, uh, yeah. As long as a oil painting is in your possession, you can always fix it. Uh, in fact, I went live the other night with an artist, and she had done a painting and wasn't quite happy with it. It was dry, and she was worried, and, well, when we left the live, I think uh, she learned a few things, and, boy, her painting improved quite a bit, and I'm glad to be a part of that, and, you know, heck, a little bit before, I was with another artist who, man, I would, I, I have to learn lessons from that guy. Let me tell you, whoo, coachable, wee. <laughs> He's an artist. I love him. Uh, 
yeah it's just great to reach out and hang with the community um, also I have a mate in England uh, visual fusions he's a good buddy of mine and I helped him out and sent him some stuff <laughs> um, yeah it's, painting is boy it's been a great experience it's a lot of fun this is like my zen this is me just relaxing letting the days oops sorry about the notification there letting the day's stress go away we got to take this just a little bit in front of that rock. There we go. Now we've got a better little. There we go. One more. Got some Loompa. There we go. Right up against that rock. And splash. Crash. Missed. Missed. I will say, uh, I did have this uh, amazing opportunity. I had an artist from uh, YouTube. Uh, he critiqued uh, one of my paintings. Well, he's done two of my paintings he's critiqued. But one thing he did say is I have a sense of depth and per like perception where you see for this is a visual plane right here, right? And then you go to here, that's a visual plane. And then you go to here, that's a visual plane. Here is a visual plane. Here is a visual plane. I mean, all the way up. If I divide my painting in, like, blocks, it all comes together. So that that's also, like, an amazing compliment that uh, a YouTuber would just go, yeah, man, <laughs> you got it, man, <laughs> you know? And, of course, you know, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has their own way. I never try to really promote anybody other than myself. <laughs> Truthfully. Let me just clean that up a little bit. Get some mist there. <sighs> yep, I think this is about all I can do with this painting. Well, for a second. I mean, I'll take a step back. It's always great. Calm down, take a step back and go, all right, is there anything else I need to add? And for me, I really think because we go light to mid to dark, and then we go here, light to mid to dark, then we go bright, um, I need a little more dark down here. So truthfully, I think all I'm going to do uh, is grab a bunch of blue, right, and a little bit. I have that goofy color that we mixed up for those rocks. Let's just use a little bit of that and mainly some blue. We'll just. Bah, 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 bah. Um, we need to put in a little bit of dark. A couple lines saying, hey, this is water, this is movement, it's deep, it's rushing down. You know, can't uh, have light without dark. As they say, maybe even kind of a little bit of the dark here, dark there, dark there. Yeah, there we go. Make it. Yep, that's what I needed. I'll just gently pull across with the fan brush. Yeah. very much. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Did you fix that? Oops, oh, sorry for not turning off not notifications and you guys get to hear when oh someone watches my video or texts me or snaps me. Sorry. There we go. I think we need to build that down a little bit. Uh, let me take one more step back. And we'll call this live and this painting almost done. Let me look. 
Nope. Actually, that's a little too dark. So we'll go back in the white and just. We'll fix that just a bit. Pull it straight down. White back up here with the waterfalls and it's cresting. Make some movements down. Oh. Again, sorry about that, folks. Make some movements down. Hey, thank you. I heard a noise. Noises are good here. <laughs> um, I appreciate you guys popping in. I'm just really kind of in a way rushing a bit to fix this because uh, I made a mistake last night and it frustrated me so not paying attention man yeah okay I need to stop fiddling that's what I need to do let me take a step back and you guys can take a good look at it too yeah. um, okay Actually, it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. What are we at? How many K? All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think. Just got to make the lines go the same way. But uh, an upstroke, a few things. guys think should I add more white here or does the blue kind of contrast everything that's going on here I guess uh, down here is what it is uh, I like it it's kind of cool but I don't know what should I do here hey thank you for the follow I appreciate that yeah, I don't, I just don't know what to do. Here, let me see if I can, yeah, there. I'll zoom you guys in a bit. Man. Whew, what do I do? Do I add more white? Um, uh -huh. Or, question mark, should I add some of these orange and purples like at the top and then like let the blue and white come down so essentially like because the sunset's like way 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 back here and it's it's falling through the lake as a reflection of the sky and the clouds notice there's the same colors here as there is essentially here should i put like a little more of this color falling in before we go into the blue I don't know, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. 
I really appreciate that. But yeah, I did this yesterday. Uh, it was a purple canvas, by the way. I painted a, a canvas purple and then did this painting uh, in under two hours. I was with a friend. Uh, we were uh, rocking it out. Eve's Artistry is her name. Um, we were hanging together and painting and I was helping her fix her painting. And I did do like a big old splash. And if you see like prior videos, if you go back, that was the painting I wanted to really enjoy. But again, I scraped accidentally crossed. So I made this new pond with these rocks and the mini waterfall. So it's <laughs> I will put a little more splash and foam here uh, because now you understand the idea that waterfalls are here. And there's a lake right at the edge of the canvas right there, right? Anyway, if you guys want to, I don't know, ask any questions or ask for tips, uh, I'm around. And tips, what I mean is uh, not on TikTok, like, you know, Oop, hang on, sorry. Uh, tips with painting, so. I just kind of wanted to share you with you uh, what I did with my prior painting when I, I made an accident and this is what I made. A new waterfall, little lake, some rocks, little mini waterfalls, and at the end of the canvas, a little lake of tranquility. <laughs> Just right after that little break down here, that's, that's where you need to go fishing, okay? Literally, the fish just fall right there and they get confused hungry you're right there right off the canvas fish <laughs> I'm being silly hey thank you for the likes I really appreciate it so yeah um, I don't know I've got to let a few things set uh, tomorrow I might pop on for 10 or 15 minutes and like I said, add more foam, but because I broke up and added these rocks, um, and like I said, I murked up the painting, um, again, I'll, I, yeah, I'll just let everything set for a little bit. And then when I add, it'll, it'll help, you know, enunciate a little more foam here, a little more foam down here, and it would be a firecracker of a painting. So... I do want to say, by the way, guys, I am now uh, taking my TikToks and uh, finally uh, doing full stream uh, videos. So basically, when I go live on TikTok, I'm doing the whole lesson, whole everything on my YouTube. You can find me under the same name, which is Oils with Mick. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of catching up on, on times that I missed out. Uh, so feel free and follow me there. You can learn how to paint something like this. Easy cheesy. You know what I mean? Um, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and grab something to eat and clean up after painting. So thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, have a good night. And God bless. And uh, happy painting, my friends. Bye now.